Welcome to the max. I'm glad you could join us. We're actually just trying to do a little fuel chores. You can hear the crickets chirping. The sun is starting to set. We had a great day as a family. We spent some time uh, just having some family fun at a playground. But now we, we're back and trying to get all the animals fed before evening and before it gets dark. I just had a hay delivery. Um, I was laughing because the guy, for him, they consider it almost like a junk hay, but it's a hay that's not or it's, that's that's just regular old grass. It, they didn't fertilize and didn't uh, do a lot to it. So for me, it's perfect. It's just what I'm wanting. So they were laughing about it. They're trying to get rid of this junk hay, and really, it's more of an organic hay for me. And they were laughing because they said, you know, in this area, everybody wants fertilized hay. So hey, I got a great deal on some good good hay, and the cows love it. So we're gonna get the cows fed too with some of that hay. You know, I think. Uh, we, we moved the silage tarp and I know I said in this last video my peas I'm, I think I'm just gonna chop and drop them it's a little too late to try to save them um, they just I wish I would have planted them about three weeks earlier they looked good but last night we had a frost and I just don't have enough road covers to cover them all up to keep them healthy and safe so we're gonna let them just kind of go we're gonna cut them I'm actually probably do uh, some weed trimming or either use a site take them down put them there and put a silage tarp over that and that way all that will be left right here will be simply uh just a green so i think we're okay we've had some frost come in uh kept everything covered so i think we're good other than the peas well time to get some hay get the cows fed Aiden's gonna take care of the other chores and uh hey let's get up stacked up ready to rock for all winter A lot of people ask me why I buy round bells now and 
uh, break it down and don't just put the whole bell in there, which will make it easier. And we do have a tractor that I can pick up and utilize that way. Um, what, what we found out, even though it's way cheaper to buy round bell than square bells, because square bells pretty much, uh, you're paying basically, you know, sometimes 10, 15, 20 times what you would actually get for a round bell. Because uh, it takes about 30 to 35 square bells to make up a typical round bell or more. So the round bell is the economical issue. Also, another way that you can save and make things last a little bit longer, especially if you don't have a lot of cattle, is break it off and utilize it only when you want, when you need it. When we were gone, I had somebody drop a bale right here. And on the other side, which y'all have seen before, I was actually scooping up the other night when we got home. We waste so much because the cows mess in it, they, they lay in it, and they squat in it, whatever they do, pee in it. And so when a cow does all that to that hay, it's just going to, first of all, make it nasty. But they're not going to utilize it any other way than just make a little bed out of it. Well, if we just do only what we feel like they need for the day, we'll put one more load. Uh, we've kind of got to a little science to where we'll put three or four of these big wheelbarrow loads. And plus the grass that they're eating, that's plenty. They're going to go and they're going to lay down. So they're not wasting any. There won't hardly be any left on this ground. And that does us better than just to put a whole bale out here and feel like we're just wasting it. So that's why we use round bales, but that's also why we break the round bales down. It's a lot more work. It really is compared to buying the square bales that you can just carry and put over here. Um, or the round bales you can just drop in with the trailer or with the tractor. But it does. we're doing two ways that, that makes it a little bit more economical. Doing as needed hay and only putting what we want and doing round bales versus square bales. Both of those things are reasons why. Uh, we save on our hay. Daddy-o likes to get into his hay. Literally. Elsa's helping him out. Your winter coat's getting thicker and thicker. This is finally coming along hers. Is, man, it's very thick. I wanted to share this with y'all because I thought this was pretty cool. So we were out at a family uh, get together this afternoon and I got a message from a friend um, who works at one of the local nurseries here. And she said, we're cutting back all of our rosemaries and I have a box of cuttings that I really don't want to throw in the garbage, but I don't really use rosemary that much. Would you want it? And I was like, absolutely. So I went um, to meet her this afternoon and I have to show y'all this box of rosemary. Y'all, let's take a look at the heap of rosemary. So that's a handful. This is a handful and that's about half. This down here is a handful. This over here is a handful. It's so much rosemary. And she brought me a lot of cuttings. So I'm super excited about that. I have one rosemary that's in our raised beds that I've had for two years and it has not grown amazing. So I don't get a lot off of it. So this was a huge blessing. I thought this was super cool. Um, so I'm very excited about that. I have my $1 dehydrator here. There's the other little racks. My $1 dehydrator that I found at uh, a garage sale. So I'm about to pop this in the dehydrator until tomorrow afternoon. And um, I'm sure I probably won't get it all done today. So what I don't dehydrate today or can't fit in there, I'm gonna just stick in the refrigerator. And as soon as this batch is done, I'm gonna add the second batch in there. And I'm beyond thrilled to get all this rosemary. All right, gonna end this video doing a little stanch and train of alley. She is <laughs> about to pop. Look how full she is here. She's so full right there. Um, she's got a lot of swelling, so she is ready to go. So I wanted to stanch and train her one or two more times before she has this calf, just to make sure she's ready. Um, she's actually walking crooked. So she is ready to have this baby. Uh, treat her with a little alfalfa, a little creep mix, uh, a little sweet feed, just to get her ready for the baby. So she's doing great. She is, you can tell though, this uh, calf is wearing on her. She's ready to have it because she's 
ain't walking nearly as good as she usually does. And usually she's spunky. She ain't too spunky lately. So, so we're going to end this video uh, doing some sketch steps and training of her. We've got her locked in, as you see. Like I've told you, teach your young heifer to do what they're supposed to do. So that way when they're a family milk cow, they're ready. Um, cows are smart, but they are stubborn. So train them while you can. That way they'll be ready when they have their calf. We hope you're liking our content. Thank you again for watching the Max. We always try to put something out that either is teaching you something or just something enjoyable. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Uh, we hope that you'll share us with others. We hope that uh, you are liking our content. If there's things that we could do better, please tell us. If there's things you want to see more of, please let us know. God bless. Happy Cold y'all.